with Cinema 40. Um, and once we're in Cinema 40, it is the tricky part. Um, there's a couple, f there's a couple tricky things you kind of need to do when 3D motion tracking. Um, and this is this is the reason why a lot of people have problems and why their text moves or things like that. So what you're gonna do is come to here, over here to file open, and I've pretty much found a way to fix um, almost all of that. And I, I'm don't just ignore this part. I'm just deleting that. I don't need it anymore. Um, you won't have to do that. So go ahead and open up your tut or your uh, sorry Cinema 4D file that you made. I named it tut, so that's why I said that. But yeah. Um, so you'll go ahead and open that and change the scale to 100. Make sure you do that, and then go ahead and hit OK, and you'll see a bunch of dots on the screen now. You might be a little confused, but don't worry. Come up to the light and add a background. Then go ahead and find your uh, video that you rendered out in Buju. Go ahead and drag that in and make it a material in Cinema 4D, and go ahead and add it to the background. Uh, Slow right now. All right, sorry guys. Go ahead and add it to the background. And here you'll see um, that we have the background and the uh, the null object right here, which is the tracking points. And as you can see, the null object will stay in place the whole way across the video. But sometimes this works for people, and sometimes it doesn't. If we go ahead and add a text object, I'll go ahead and see if it works for me this time. I don't, it's really <laughs> I don't know for me it's really random uh, really random for me I don't know why but we'll go ahead and add this text and we'll go ahead and play through and as you can see it is motion tracked um, it is completely motion tracked um, and is perfectly fine if you are having any trouble with this you'll go you can go over to the null object come over to the coordinates and change the size um, you can go ahead and change it by 10 10 10 and that might help um, as you can see that it changes the text and you'll have to go ahead and make this a lot bigger though um, but you know it, it sometimes works sometimes doesn't um, as you can see if I go through here it's still motion tracked um, and some people it doesn't motion track when they first do it and sometimes it does so that is how I figured out how I got around this um, Sometimes my text was moving and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, and if it still doesn't work on 10, I should just try and get either 100 or maybe make it 50, 50, 50. Um, but for me, uh, the size 1 worked. So now if I change this back to size 1, the text will be huge, as you can see, because I changed the size of the text before because I changed the size of the null object. So it's kind of hard to understand, but if your text is moving, change the size of the null. You'll want to make all three of these even, um, and I'm just making them in the tens, not some crazy number like 73, 73, 73. Just kind of try and make them 10. If that doesn't work, try and make it 100, maybe 50, 50, 50, something like that. Um, and it should work. Um, after that, you can go ahead and make this back at like 200 or something, make it a lot smaller. Um, I can't even find it now. All right, there it is. And we'll go ahead and put this down on the floor. I'll go ahead and show you how to um how to make shadows and stuff. So, and here is what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's unmotion tracked. It's it's a very random process. As you can see, it's moving along with on the floor. So if I go to the null object and I go ahead and change this to I'll try a hundred. One hundred. 100 and 100 you'll see that the plane is on the ground here actually this is way too small I'm gonna go ahead and make this 10 my bad I wouldn't do 100 that's kind of ridiculous Let's go 100 100 or 10 10 10 my bad and as you can see the null object is right here on the f is is about as big as the scene is and we'll go ahead and change the text make that a bit bigger um Drag this forward a little bit. Where is it? And if we go scroll through, uh, if my computer would stop lagging, I don't know why. It keeps... If we drag through, as you can see, now it is motion tracked again. So um, I don't know if this process is as random as it for you. Um, I'm sorry for the for the very sketchy tutorial, but this is a very sketchy subject in my my opinion. So. 
this is how I get around things um, and I'm pretty sure this tutorial will help a lot of people because a lot of people don't know much about these things and don't know really what numbers or what to play around with so now as you can see it's motion tracked again um, we'll go ahead and add a floor and just make sure that the floor is right under the text um, I'll zoom in to check for that obviously it's not we'll go ahead and drag that down to about here and then we'll go ahead and make the right click on the floor cinema 40 tags compositing compositing background and then we'll control click on the material on the background drag it up onto the floor and if you render it out the floor shouldn't even be visible as you can see it's not and if you can see the E is cut off a little bit here so I'll drag the floor down a tiny bit uh, that's probably even too much um, we'll do it to like about right here well actually the T is cut off because of the null object my bad um, we'll drag the T up or the text up and uh, that's about good and um, now if we go and render it out the floor will not be there and the text will be just sitting there um, what you're going to want to do now is add a, a light and you're going to want to know your scene pretty well um, as you can see if you render this out the shadows on the boxes are f coming forward so it's like the sun or the light source is, is behind everything so you're going to want to go ahead and do that same thing with behind make it behind the text and go ahead and turn shadow maps on and then you'll want to make, make another light in the front of the text so you can actually see the front of the text because as you can see if you look at the text now and you can't even see it so you go ahead and add a light to the front and make sure no shadow map is on if you render this out here you'll see that there's um, shadows on the floor now as you can see that's a little too big of shadows comparing to the boxes so you can go ahead and make this uh, the intensity less then try again um, or you can drag the the light uh, even closer which will make the uh, shadows even smaller and we'll go ahead and try and render that out um, that was not the best place I don't know why, oh wow why did I do that back more we render this out the shadows are a little bit more aligned um, and then one more thing to make it look a lot better this will make trust me it'll make it look a lot better go ahead and add an ambient occlusion um, just to make this look even better I'll go ahead and make uh, I'll put it in a good font and stuff so it doesn't look kind of bland and ugly I'll go ahead and do that and now if we render this out it looks like it's actually on the floor and if we play through here um, the text stays exactly in the same spot uh, throughout the whole video and the shadows stay the exact same everything the lights are all motion tracked everything so very very awesome program um, very sketchy side of editing uh, in my opinion it's very sketchy kinda of weird to work with maybe it's just Cinema 4D maybe uh, it wasn't really meant for Cinema 4D and the um, producers kinda of made it towards 3ds Max which I I can imagine because 3ds Max is in a lot more advanced program so but this is how to do it in Cinema 4D it's very sketchy but uh, once you play around with it uh, enough you can pretty much get it to go um, it is that's what she said by the way <laughs> that's a, that was a great one but um so yeah guys uh, I hope this helped a lot of the people that were having troubles um, because I know I it took me a while for me to get all this uh, down it's a very sketchy tutorial but it'll actually I'm pretty sure it'll actually help a lot of people um, so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching um, that is pretty much it um, and that's pretty much how I did it as you can see here the shadow is it goes over the box and there's no real uh, good way to to try to get rid of that um, you can make this up higher maybe that might help it I'm not sure but yeah there you go that that, that makes it a lot better so yeah you just you have to play around with your shadows and um, just play around with the whole scene in general and you should be able to get it um, and by the way you can move this text anywhere move it up and make it look like it's floating um, so yeah it's great awesome thing um, so once again <laughs> thanks for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed this um, and I hope you get a lot out of this because this is a very sketchy part of editing so thanks for watching guys peace